So in this example, guys, um, the first one, I will start off with an easy one, but then we'll build up, okay? And just remember, um, one of the things that we're going to be talking about the most is finding the zeros of a polynomial. That's basically what this chapter is going to be about. And um, the main important thing, guys, is we have to understand the definition of the zeros. The zeros are the values of x that make the equation true for f of x equaling to 0. So the first thing we're going to want to do is make sure we replace f of x with 0. And now, we basically want to find the values of x that make this true. Well, fortunately, I picked a very, very easy problem, because this is something you guys should be very familiar with. Here, when we have the product equal to 0, we can just apply the 0 product property, right? So we could say x is equal to, or, or let's write this in, x minus 4 is equal to 0, and x minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, adding 4 on both sides, x is equal to 4. Adding 1 on both sides, x is equal to 1. So those are the zeros. Those are the values that make that equation true for this multiplied equals 0. So we can just write the zeros in set notation. This is perfectly fine as well. But a lot of times you guys will see on your test, they'll be written in set notation. I also ask you to, to look at the multiplicity. So the multiplicity, that's where it comes into having the linear factorization written down. And the linear factorization is basically a polynomial written as a product of its linear factors. And you can see these are linear factors because x is raised to the first power. right? So we look at the multiplicity, which is the power of the factors based on our definition of multiplicity. And we can see that both of these have a multiplicity equal to 1. Now, that's not always going to be the case. Now, this obviously is my linear factorization. If you're just going to write the polynomial as a linear factorization, linear factorization, then it's really the original problem that we had. Which is nice. That's why this problem is so easy, because it's already given in linear factorization. right? You see the rest of them are not like that. right? So um, we need to be able to identify what is the mathematical technique for rewriting something as a product of its factors.